Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Maze Automation Channel. In this session, we're gonna see the prerequisites or requirements for the Karate framework to start ABA automation. And we need any IDE. In my case, I'm taking Eclipse. You can take any of the Eclipse, IntelliJ, or Visual Studio Code. And we need a couple of like a Maven Cucumber plugin. And this Cucumber plugin help you to understand uh, when you create any feature file, uh, that entire structure will be uh, displayed with respect to the keywords highlighting. So for that, we needed this Cucumber plugin. And we need a Maven dependencies like Karate Core, Karate Apache, Karate J unit. So we need Eclipse IDA. So in my case, I already have the Eclipse IDA and in case if you are a new uh, that you wanted to install this Eclipse IDE and start working it. So if you go to my channel uh, where you can find uh, this playlist, under that playlist you can find how to install this Eclipse IDE on a Windows operating system or any operating system the installation part is easier. So you can follow this series. So I will share this link in the description you can find from there. And in the Eclipse, so once you install the Eclipse, so Eclipse looks like this. And in this, we need to install or configure Maven. So to configure Maven in the older version or earlier versions of Eclipse, we need to manually configure the Maven. But latest versions has a built-in Maven. So if you don't see the Maven in your projects, so then you need to install the Maven. So for that, again, go to my channel and you can find Maven Eclipse configuration. So this is a tutorial which help you to uh, configure Maven Eclipse. So you can follow from that session. So I will share that link in the description and go back to the Eclipse now. And in case the Eclipse Maven is correctly configured or rightly configured or not, you need to see. Then for that, go to this files and go to the new. Under new, go to the uh, other section. In the others, you can find Maven. So if you don't find this Maven, so do follow my session. I will share that link. And now I'm going to create one Maven project. So this is a Maven project. Let's say this Maven project is the Karate framework. Right. So select this, create a sample project with skip archetype. In case if you have a defined archetype, you can select the archetype in the next window. But if you want to skip that part, then you can use this create a sample project with skip archetype. And here you need to provide the project name. So group ID and artifact ID is a project name. So in my case, I'm providing karate dot or hyphen. Let's use underscore karate automation. And I'm going to copy the same and put in the artifact ID. And once it's done, I'm going to click finish. So this will take some time to create this project into the package explorer section. You can see there is one project being created, but still it is creating a project. You can see this progress here. So let's wait. It's fully done now. So once I open this project i will see the structure like this so it has a source main java source main resources source test java source test resources so all these folders being created but we only deal with a couple of folders like source test java and here you can see system jre libraries and source and target and pom.xml so let's open this pom.xml and if you still uh, don't find a maven here then you can go to this help and go to the market place you can find the maven there and you can simply type maven and install uh, but we forgot one more plugin right which is a cucumber plugin so for that we go to this help and go to the eclipse marketplace right this will take into uh, the eclipse market space where we can install many plugins from this place Right, so here we're going to simply type Maven first to show you the Maven. So you can see here Eclipse M2E. So this is the one you need to install in case if you are not seeing the Maven. Right, and then 
we need cucumber cucumber plugin so simply type cucumber and hit enter so this is a cucumber plugin we needed so i have installed this uh, as part of other sessions so you can install this plugin so i will mention this in the description so these two plugins we needed so after that uh, we need to go to uh, maven repository so for that go to the browser and this is the location where we will get all the dependencies from maven so here we need to go and type for karate karate core so simply enter so this is the karate core that we need to get so you can use any of the versions so in my case i'm using this 3.1.1.3.1 and simply copy this and go back to eclipse and here after this tag or before the project tag let's open one tag called dependencies so let's wait for some suggestions to load so in case if you forgot the syntax so this is a good option to get the suggestions from the eclipse id so under this dependencies tag we need to mention the dependency so one which we have taken right thus that is only dependency not dependencies so you can see here dependency this is the one dependency and again go to eclipse i mean google chrome and type for karate apache and this is the karate apache and i'm gonna taking this 096 version copy and simply paste it here and go back to the chrome and this time we need karate j unit i got this so after that again paste this so we got three dependencies here so let's do a quick formatting Control shift f so once you type it all will be correctly formatted right now we have only jra system libraries so once we save this program or save this uh, pom.xml you will get one new folder so i will show you that folder so all this is loading up here so this is a program status bar which is showing here So all this done you can see here may one dependencies here so this is the dependencies that all are installed into our program folder so we are set to ready with our project so this is the project setup that we need to do so if you forgot we need eclipse ide we need maven and cucumber plugins we need karate core karate apache and karate j unit so we need this maven dependencies so once all this done we're gonna start writing our scripts so in the next session we're gonna start one simple api automation program and we'll see how the output comes and how the reports look like so stay tuned for that and if you have any questions queries in this session you can post in my comment section and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague and thank you for watching